Mount Kinabalu. It's a name that echoes with adventure. This majestic peak, towering over the island of Borneo, isn't just a mountain. It's a sacred place, steeped in legend and shrouded in mist. Local people believe it's a resting place for spirits. They say it holds the energy of the earth. Standing tall at 4,095 meters, or 13,435 feet, Mount Kinabalu is the highest peak in Southeast Asia. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, home to a staggering array of plant and animal life. Many species are found nowhere else on Earth. But more than that, it's a challenge. A test of your strength, your endurance, your will. Climbing Mount Kinabalu is an experience that will stay with you forever. It's a journey into the heart of Borneo's wild beauty. And it all starts with a single step. Are you ready? There are three main trails to the summit of Mount Kinabalu, each offering a distinct journey to the top. Each trail offers a unique experience with varying levels of difficulty, scenery and challenges. Whether you're a seasoned climber or a novice, there's a path that suits your needs. The Ranau Trail is the most popular choice among climbers. It's well known for its accessibility and the beautiful vistas it offers along the way. It starts at Timpahon Gate, located at 1,866 meters, or 6,122 feet above sea level. This is where your adventure begins. This trail is well maintained with gradual ascents, making it a comfortable climb for most people. The path is clear and easy to follow, with plenty of rest stops along the way. It's a good option for first-time climbers, families, and those who prefer a more leisurely pace. The gradual incline allows you to enjoy the journey without feeling too exhausted. For those seeking a more rugged and challenging experience, the Kota Balud Trail is the answer. This trail is less traveled and offers a more adventurous route to the summit. Starting at 1,340 meters or 4,400 feet, this trail is longer and steeper. It requires more stamina and determination to conquer. It winds through dense rainforest, offering a glimpse into the mountain's raw beauty. The lush greenery and diverse wildlife make this trail a favorite among nature enthusiasts. The Via Ferrata, meaning Iron Road in Italian, is not for the faint of heart. This trail is designed for thrill seekers and experienced climbers looking for an adrenaline rush. It's the world's highest Via Ferrata, traversing sheer rock faces with the help of fixed cables and ladders. The views from this trail are breathtaking, but the climb is demanding. This option requires a high level of fitness and a head for heights. It's a test of both physical and mental endurance, but the sense of accomplishment at the end is unparalleled. No matter which path you choose, each trail offers its own unique rewards and challenges. The journey to the summit is as important as reaching the top. Make sure to book your climb and accommodation in advance. Planning ahead ensures you have a spot and can enjoy your climb without any last minute hassles. Mount Kinabalu is a popular destination, and permits are limited to protect the environment. Respect the mountain and its natural beauty by following the guidelines and preserving its pristine condition for future climbers. Before you even set foot on the mountain, there's some essential preparation to be done. This preparation is crucial for ensuring a safe and successful climb. First, secure your permits and climbing slots. These permits are mandatory and help regulate the number of climbers on the mountain, preserving the natural environment. You can do this through licensed tour operators or directly through Saba Parks. Licensed operators can provide valuable guidance and support, making the process smoother. Make sure you have the necessary insurance and understand the regulations. Insurance is vital as it covers any unforeseen incidents, ensuring you are protected throughout your journey. This is about respecting the mountain and ensuring your safety, Proper preparation and adherence to safety measures can make a significant difference in your climbing experience. Once you arrive at Kinabalu Park, you'll need to register at the park headquarters. This step is essential for tracking climbers and ensuring everyone's safety. Here you'll present your permits, confirm your accommodation and receive your climbing briefing. The briefing includes crucial information about the climb, safety protocols and what to expect. Listen carefully. This is where you'll get important updates on weather conditions and any trail closures. 
Staying informed can help you make better decisions during your climb. The climb itself is typically done over two days. This allows climbers to pace themselves and acclimatize to the changing altitude. The first day is all about reaching Panar Laban, the base camp located at 3,272 meters or 10,735 feet. This base camp offers stunning views and a chance to rest. This is where you'll spend the night, acclimatizing to the altitude before making the final push for the summit. The night at base camp is a unique experience filled with anticipation and preparation for the next day's challenge. You need to be prepared both physically and mentally. Mount Kinabalo demands respect. Remember, you'll be carrying your own backpack with essential supplies. Focus on building your endurance with activities like hiking, running, and stair climbing. Start your physical training well in advance. Temperatures can drop drastically at higher altitudes. Bring layers of clothing to adapt to changing weather conditions. Invest in a good pair of hiking boots that provide ankle support and good traction. Speaking of supplies, having the right gear is crucial. And always carry a first aid kit for minor injuries. Don't forget essentials like a headlamp, sunscreen, sunglasses, a hat, and gloves. Pack a waterproof jacket and pants to protect yourself from rain and wind. Being prepared is key to a safe and enjoyable climb. Reaching Panar Laban is an achievement in itself. It's a basic but comfortable base camp where you can rest and refuel before the final ascent. Accommodation options include dormitory-style rooms and shared bathrooms. Don't expect luxury here. This is about experiencing the mountain in its rawest form. Meals are served at designated times in the communal dining hall. You'll get hearty, carbohydrate-rich meals to fuel your body for the challenges ahead. Remember to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. The altitude can dehydrate you faster than you think. Take some time to soak in the breathtaking views from Panar Laban. As the sun sets, casting long shadows across the landscape, you'll truly appreciate the scale and beauty of your surroundings. This is a moment to reflect, to connect with nature and to gather your strength for the summit push. Mount Kinabalu is a sacred place, treat it with respect. Stay on marked trails to avoid damaging fragile vegetation. Pack out everything you pack in, leave no trace of your presence. Altitude sickness is a real risk at higher elevations. Listen to your body and descend immediately if you experience symptoms like headache, nausea or dizziness. Don't push yourself beyond your limits. Safety always comes first. Weather conditions can change rapidly on the mountain. Be prepared for rain, wind and cold temperatures. Check the weather forecast before you start your climb and be prepared to turn back if conditions deteriorate. Remember, the mountain will always be there. Don't risk your safety for the sake of reaching the summit. Climbing Mount Kinabalu is as much a mental challenge as a physical one. Break the climb down into smaller, manageable sections. Focus on each step, each breath. Don't be afraid to take breaks when you need them. Listen to your body and pace yourself. Hydration is key. Carry plenty of water and drink regularly, even when you don't feel thirsty. Electrolyte tablets or powders can help replace essential minerals lost through sweat. Fuel your body with high energy snacks like nuts, dried fruit and energy bars. Start your final ascent early in the morning. This will give you the best chance of reaching the summit before the afternoon clouds roll in. The trail is well marked, but a headlamp is essential for the pre-dawn hours. And remember, the summit is just the halfway point. You still have to descend, which can be just as challenging as the ascent. Reaching the summit of Mount Kinabalu is an exhilarating experience. The journey to the top is filled with challenges, but each step brings you closer to a breathtaking reward. Standing above the clouds, with the world spread out beneath you, you'll feel an overwhelming sense of accomplishment. The vast expanse of the landscape, the crisp mountain air, and the sense of being on top of the world are truly unparalleled. You've conquered the mountain, but more importantly, you've conquered yourself. The physical and mental challenges faced along the way have only made this moment sweeter. Each climber's journey is unique, filled with personal triumphs and moments of introspection. Take your time to soak in the panoramic views. Let your eyes wander across the horizon, taking in the majestic peaks and valleys that stretch out before you. This is a view that few are privileged to witness, and it deserves to be savoured. 
capture the moment with photos, but also take a moment to appreciate the silence, the vastness, the sheer beauty of your surroundings. The memories you make here will be etched in your mind forever, far beyond the images captured on your camera. This is a moment you'll carry with you long after you've descended back to the lowlands. The sense of achievement, the beauty of the summit, and the camaraderie shared with fellow climbers will stay with you. But the journey doesn't end at the summit. The descent is just as important, requiring focus and care. It's a time to reflect on the climb, to appreciate the journey, and to prepare for the return to everyday life. Remember to descend carefully, following the same trails you took on the way up. The path may seem different on the way down, but it holds the same beauty and challenges. Be mindful of other climbers and offer encouragement to those making their way to the top. Your words of support can make a significant difference to someone struggling with the climb. And when you finally reach the bottom, take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey you've just completed. You've climbed Mount Kinabalu, a feat that requires determination, strength and resilience. And that's something to be proud of. Share your stories, celebrate your achievement, and remember that the summit is not just a place, but a state of mind.